hello to all of my fellow in queue Final Fantasy players out there. Uh, Brian here for Ginger Prime, and I wanted to give you guys an update directly from Yoshi P regarding the situation with the servers, as well as the compensation package that he's actually preparing for the community. And there's going to be maybe even updates more on that here in the future. This was something I very well expected. Uh, I was really happy that I got to see this when I woke up this morning, and I wanted to give it to you guys. Uh, just so that you know uh, i don't know necessarily where you get your video game news and if it's for me thank you for hanging out so um let's go ahead and dive into the full post uh tldr uh the servers are point um and they're going to give us seven days of play time uh, i guess that's going to show up starting on the seventh uh, he goes into detail about the specific errors and what we can expect to see and maybe some ways you can kind of troubleshoot it on your end uh, as to essentially what is happening uh, and anyway, all of this, I, you know, I'm going to share with you guys. Always feel free to sound off with your thoughts. I love reading uh, your comments down below. So it starts with, Hello, this is Nokia Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. The congestion that has occurred at the start of the Endwalker Early Access has been caused by many inconveniences to our players, or has been a cause of many, not been the cause. Uh, regarding this, we are truly appreciated and understanding the cooperation with you guys thus far. I would like to provide an explanation of the current congestion situation as well as information regarding countermeasures and the compensation of game time. So the current situation is that across all worlds, all regions are being hit uh, and they're hitting the login cap for extremely long periods of time. And the progression of login queues is being very slowed dramatically across all of 14 as a service as a whole. The number of simultaneous logins has reached the hardware limit and as a result, logging in has required an extremely long time, especially during peak hours. Uh, what we intend to see during this increase in player activity, and for this, he's truly sorry. Regarding the game time compensation is that considering that we are asking players to wait in queues for extremely long periods of time, the ongoing situation is going to make it difficult to play normally. Uh, we have decided that during the official release of Endwalker on December 7th, we're going to grant seven free days of game time to all players who own the full version of the game and have an active subscription, meaning uh, not necessarily Endwalker, but if you own Final Fantasy 14 and have an active subscription, you're gonna get an additional seven days. This also includes players who are currently playing the 30 day free trial uh, when they register a full version of the game. So if you're a free trial player, uh, you'll actually be, you'll get that time when you register a full game. Furthermore, uh, they may give additional free game time depending on how further developments of con uh, congestion continue the timing of which the free game time will be provided as well as the additional extensions will be announced at a later time we truly appreciate your cooperation and patience regarding the congestion situation so for errors while logging in so essentially 2002 is there's two primary causes if you're getting this error the first occurs when the attempting to log into the logical data center such as aether or primal uh, and this is where more than 17,000 players are logged in in the logging queue. So once that hits up full, that's where you might get that 2000 error. This leads to an error 2002 occurring, resulting in being unable to enter into the login queue at all. Uh, another, this, the other occurs when your internet connection experiences a packet loss or a period of network instability, causing the server connection to momentarily be disconnected. At this moment, we are seeing more cases caused by this. How can you mitigate this, guys? So because of this waiting time in the queue so long, it increases the odds that that is going to happen and thus they recommend making sure that you're not playing on a wi-fi connection if you can switch to a wired a hardwired internet connection that's going to help improve your stability when trying to log in uh, if you're trying to play on a playstation 4 or 5 please check your settings related to your power savings uh, if settings are related and disconnected from the internet such as in standby mode or in rest mode are enabled uh, please note that these may be active while waiting in the login queue so you may want to adjust your settings on the PlayStation. Regarding 4004, 5003, and 5006, these errors occur when your connection to the lo uh, login management server times out as a result in waiting in a long queue for extreme periods of time. Although we've secured a considerably long session time with a lobby server, however, there are times that this is still not enough to cover the issue. We are currently working on a process to extend the session time. We apologize for this inconvenience and we ask that you wait a little bit longer until this process is complete. So regarding peak hours of congestion, through or though the congestion status may vary for each logical data center, I'd like to share information regarding the peak hours of congestion that we've currently observed as December 5th. 
uh, North American Data Center at 12 p.m. to uh, to 10 p.m. Uh, PST, so 20 hundred hours, 600 GMT. Europe is 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. PST, and Japan is 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. PST. With early access taking place over the weekend, congestion may also peak around noon, but logical or login queues have typically been longer during the hours listed above. We apologize for the inconvenience and ask that you uh, use this information as a reference when considering when to play. Information regarding peak hours during weekdays will be provided at a later time. Inactivity while using dance emotes and or st attacking striking dummies. We've received feedback that players who are allegedly using dance emotes or attacking striking dummies in order to bypass the automatic logout that occurs after 30 minutes of an inactivity. However, these methods cannot bypass the automatic logout. When a player a character is left inactive in these states, their status is automatically changed to away from keyboard before they are eventually automatically logged out for 30 minutes of inactivity. To some, this may appear as though they were successful in avoiding automatic logout. Uh, they uh, believe this is the basis of the rumors in that case. Now, automatic logout due to inactivity uh, during ending of the credit scenes. So for all the different ones, they are heavens word and forward. Uh, we have received reports that players are automatically logged out during the ending of the credits of a Roman born and the various expansions due to 30 minutes of inactivity. Upon investigation, we discovered that the procedure for avoiding automatic logout was missing during these credits, which he's truly sorry. Uh, and as for ending credits of Endwalker, this procedure is included uh, for and you will not be logged out for inactivity during this session. Uh, we apologize for the inconvenience, but when viewing the ending credits of A Realm of Born or the other expansions, we ask that you please, please press the button on your controller or press the key on your keyboard or click your mouse. By doing so, before 30 minutes pass, you will be able to reset the automatic logout timer. Please note that simply moving your mouse cursor will not prevent automatic logout. The issue will be added to a list of unknown issues uh, in a separate announcement. Once again, he wants to really apologize for any inconvenience caused to the players, and as a result, the congestion that has continued since the start of early access. He's truly sorry, and he will continue to do his utmost to address the congestion situation and errors during login queues as soon as possible. So hopefully using this information, uh, we're going to be able to, I guess, at least alter your play style. One of the things that I've experienced personally is that logging in in the morning seems to work. Now, obviously, that's not going to work for everybody. If your game time tends to be during peak time, as it would naturally be so for the majority of people, that's going to be a, a rough situation. It's really unfortunate. This is something that we really, you know, expected for a while now, because the question we had is that with the surge of all these new players, what is the game going to look like when all the people who've been on break for such a long time waiting for the expansion return? And obviously this is what we're seeing. We're seeing hardware limits on these servers. Yoshi P and the team have tried to purchase new servers. Uh, we, we know that we're getting a new data center and I think that would actually help out immensely uh, in the situation, but we'll we'll cross that bridge at, an, at another date uh, around 6.1. Um, but beyond that, they've also like experimented with cloud technology and things like that. I think at the end of the day, it's sucks i posted about this last night obviously a lot of anger a lot of frustration um around the situation itself and my advice i think if you haven't seen that video i am not going to re reiterate it here i think that actually speaks for itself i'd encourage you to check that out if you're wanting some positive in your feed if you're wanting some uh goodness in your feed i think the seven days here is actually a really good thing uh, I'm, I'm actually expecting it to go more i don't think monday is going to fix the problem i don't think tuesday is going to fix the problem i think this is going to persist uh, with a brand new expansion with a active player base that's been you know putting cues in during very like you know content droughts and now that we actually have content seeing those two kind of collide is just going to be something we have to you know kind of fight our way through for the time being we've all been impacted and it sucks and uh if you guys want i'm not going to be able to do any of the story stuff so we can talk about it in the comments please keep the channel spoiler free i'll let you guys know when uh, we're going to lift that requirement and I wish you guys all the best. Hopefully this was some good information for you. I'd like to know your thoughts if you want to share them. Uh, my name is Brian and this is Ginger Prime. You are awesome. I love you. And hopefully you have a better day. Till next time, take care. Yes, Brian, teach me how to heal on the controller. Taking time to learn, it feels awkward. I'm using your layout for buttons, so I'm looking forward to that video. Hey, he's back. Glad you're feeling better. Can't wait for your Sage Controller Guide in the future. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's right, baby.